In a world where supply and demand control the market, one corporation will become powerful enough to control the market price, and only one man can stop the impending loss of competition. Why did you call me into your office, Mr. President? Agent Smith, we have a major economic crisis, and the world is counting on you to fix it before the world economy ceases to exist. The capital system is in danger. Intel tells us that there is a corporation that has become powerful enough to control the market price. In other words, it has become a monopoly. Whoa now. I'm a secret agent, not an economist. You can't expect me to understand what all this nonsense means. That is why we've hired the best, most famous economist in all the world, Dr. Scott Niederjohn. What? Not THE Dr. Scott Niederjohn. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. What? Oh my gosh! They must have followed you here! Oh boy! I'll protect you, Mr. President. That was a close one, Mr. President. You're safe now. It's time to bring this monopoly to competitive justice. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. I think it is important that we take time to understand the unique situation that we are in. A monopoly arises when a firm becomes the sole seller of a product or resource without any sort of competitive substitute for the good. You know, I've actually done some research and I thought that monopolies are often naturally created in a free market economy, such as when a single company owns a key resource for production, or requires less cost for producing output. And in some cases, aren't monopolies even created by the government in itself? What's so special about this case? Yes, that is true. But this monopoly has become powerful enough to destroy the entire free market concept. They have maximized their profit by finding the point at which their marginal cost equals their marginal revenue, and have induced consumers into buying their goods at the optimal quantity. So, if we can find a way to increase their cost substantially, we may be able to successfully decrease their profit. Perfect. What? How did they find us here? <laughs> yeah, what? Ah! Hey, check it out. They're, uh, they're buying the product in there. Looks like some young guy and a grandma looking to buy whatever they're selling in this monopoly. Hi, I'll take one. That'll be a million dollars. Sure, here you go. One. That'll be two million dollars, ma'am. But it was only a million for him. Ah, this is worse than I thought. What do you mean? They're using price discrimination to take advantage of consumers and make even more money. And? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> price discrimination is a business practice of selling the same good to different consumers to different prices. Just like businesses do for movie and plane tickets, financial aid, or discount coupons. Lower prices are given to the consumers and have a lower willingness to pay for the product while higher prices are given to those who want to product more. It is an easy way for monopolies to maximize their revenue while increasing consumer surplus. Wow. Is there any practical way for us to destroy this monopoly? Well, monopolies can usually be diluted through antitrust laws that increase competition, government regulation over their behaviors, or even take complete control over the corporation and make it publicly, publicly owned. Of course. Well. Let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, how did they find us here? Oh boy.
Sedlik. I wrote the script and I played the part of the secret agent. I'm Jordan Brennan and I did the editing and played the part of Professor Niederjohn. I'm Calvin Sacono. I did the taping. I was the president and I was the old lady. Biden. Hi, I'm Jacob Clement and I was the bad guy.